it's hard to date. Like in the South, you know. When you get my age, I'm 31 years old. And when you get my age, the only men and women you're going to meet that are single are either, you know, 18, 19 year olds. Kind of want them around my age, you know. But, um, they're kind of 18, 19 year olds, or they married. Now you finally come across a guy, and they're like, he's got a wedding band. Come across a woman, she on the phone talking about her husband, like, God, really? And it's hard, it's hard enough, it's hard enough when you're just a, like, 19 year old in the south, you know? I live in the deep south. You know, the, well, I don't want to say where, but like, around Alabama, <laughs> you know, that south. And, um... When you live in this part of the nation, and I'm not talking about the big cities like Atlanta or Montgomery or Miami, it's a little different in the big city. When you live in these small towns, it's a lot harder because as soon as everybody turns like 18, everyone starts pushing them to get married. They say, they might say, okay, go to college. But by the time you're 22, you've heard 600,000 times a week when you going to get married. You and him been dating a week. When y'all going to get married, you need to find yourself a feller. You got yourself a fella? <laughs> no. <laughs> and they start, like, pressuring you for some reason. And so everybody, by the time they're my age, they're married. Or they're divorced with, like, three kids. And I'm not exaggerating. They got three kids by now. Every person I went to school with has already got, like, three kids. And I so it... Well, everybody I went to school with that stayed in the South would be the correct way to put it. So it is kind of hard. Because you're like, yeah, I'm looking for someone uh, around my age who is just single. <laughs> I don't want kids. Sorry. Not to be mean, but, you know... By the time you get in your 30s or 40s, your peers have got kids that are, you know, 10, 11, 15 years old. You know, the ones that are old enough to go, you're not my mommy. You're not my daddy. You can't tell me what to. Yeah, so, trying to find somebody who's single with no kids in their 30s. With no criminal record. And who's not hung up on Jesus. Hey, that's hard. Because you do, every so often you will finally find somebody who's single. And he's one of those, you know, like, he or she will be one of those church thumping people. You know the kinds that go to church like three times a week? For no reason. You know, the ones that, you know, the ones that get up there and say, oh, you just need to get yourself straight. And I've heard that a few times. You know, I, I've actually had people say that. Transgender, what's that? Uh, you ever hear the saying, a man trapped in a woman's body? Yeah. 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 That's me. <laughs> Deep down inside, you know you're a guy, but, you know. Mm -hmm. 
Well, you just need to set yourself straight with the Lord, and He'll straighten you out. What? <laughs> you need to find Jesus, and He'll straighten you out. Jesus is the one that made me this way. <laughs> now, I come across that. And that's why I don't like to, you know, announce what I am. Because there's always that sort of, like, embarrassing over-dramatization that people do. Like, you're transgender? Oh my god, you're one of transvestites? You know, transvestites are a little different. There are people who actually dress like the opposite sex. Well, you dress like the opposite sex yourself. Yeah, but I know in my heart I am the opposite sex. Transvestites, more or less, just, uh. You know, maybe for a career or whatnot. I don't know. Then they get on to you, know. Oh my god, oh my god. Harold, come here. Come here and look at this. Look at this. Look at look. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. She even got the hair. She even got the hair. I've had that. In Publix. Like, like right there at cashier. And then, you know, just kind of minding my own business by bread going. Hmm. No, no, I'm. T I'm um, And she, she said it so loudly that I could swear to God, everybody was turning around looking at me. I just kept well. Oh my God, I am so embarrassed. I'm going to pass out. <laughs> and the sad shit was she worked at the same place. I don't mind when people give me like looks or nothing. It's when they do that whispering stuff like that three year old. Like, oh my God. Oh dear Lord, look at that. And when they go out there and they like to, you know, put their two cents in. And just kind of announce to everyone. But anyway, it is, it is hard to date. I mean, I have never had a real life relationship. Because of this. And because I live predominantly in the South. Well, like I said, everybody my age is married. Or are they looking for Bible thumpers, you know? And, um, I've had two online relationships. But, you know, that was a little. An online relationship is a little different than. Like an actual person to person relationship. Particularly when they lived on the other side of the country. <laughs> you know, but um. You know, as of now, I'm single and. just kind of want to find somebody. You know, just... And people always say, well, if you stop looking, you'll find that significant other. Really? When? Why am I going to find a man or a woman? I could care less what it is, to be honest with you. Why am I going to find a man or a woman... And the deep south, who's not married or has kids, and who won't give a damn that I'm the way I am, you're not really gonna find that. You gotta, you gotta look for it. It's not finding the golden egg at at Easter. It's not just gonna come out and say, "I'm here, hello." Man, wait. Who knows? Maybe I'll find somebody. If not, there's always online relationships. Seriously. So, anyway, out at all my transgender brothers and sisters, 
Here's my question. If you live in like a small town or, you know, any fairly sized town, not huge metro towns, but even little tiny towns, is it hard for you to find a significant other to actually date? You know, let me know.